In this English lesson, I wanted to help you learn the English phrase, a regular haunt. So haunt is a word we use to talk about ghosts, like ghosts can haunt a building. But when you say something was your regular haunt, it means it's a place you used to go to a lot. So this used to be my regular haunt. 25 years ago, I played soccer. Um, I didn't play a lot of soccer, but I played on a soccer team and this was one of my regular haunts. That simply means it was a place where um, a couple nights a week you could find me here either practicing my soccer skills. I played defense when I played soccer. Um, I'm making it sound like I, was, I played all these sports when I was younger. I didn't play a lot, but I did certainly play on a soccer team when I was, I think I was 30. It's when I started to feel old. But this soccer field here was one of my regular haunts, a place where I could be found. When you say to come back to haunt, we use this phrase to talk about something you did in the past that might bother you in the future. A good example would be this. When I played soccer, I ran really hard. I played defense and I was always trying to stop the person. And I think now it's come back to haunt me a bit because my knees and ankles get sore sometimes. So things that I may have injured, injured in the past have now come back to haunt me a little bit, not in a major way. I do know though that um, I used to go tobogganing a lot and I think from uh, jumping over little snow ramps with my toboggan, it hurt my back a bit. And I think that's gonna come back to haunt me someday. Uh, it's basically something that you did in the past that might negatively affect you in the future. So a regular haunt is a place where you go a lot. Maybe there's a restaurant that you go to every Friday and it's one of your regular haunts. And when something comes back to haunt you, it means that uh, it's something you did in the past that may affect you negatively in the future. Um, I'm just gonna move a little bit before we look at a comment. I'm gonna try and get out of the wind. I hope the microphone's working pretty good. I'm gonna stand by this sign. I don't know if that will help. We'll see. Might, might be worse, <laughs> who knows? Anyways, this comment is from an anonymous user. I hope you don't forget your tripod after this short lesson. And I replied, thankfully it was still there when I got back. Someday I think someone will swipe it. That's another word for steel, by the way. But little do they know, it's a bit broken and only I know the little tricks to make it work right. So yeah, um, that's from the last video. You know, I was in town and I just kind of walked away, right? And as I'm doing right now, I just randomly leave my tripod somewhere as I walk away and talk a little bit to you. Um, so maybe someday someone will swipe it, but it is a little bit finicky. That's a word we use for it. Um, oh, I'm going the wrong way. I was gonna show you something else. Well, we'll go this way and I'll show you. Um, it's, it's like a $30 tripod. It's, it was a super cheap tripod. And if you don't quite know how to use it, it doesn't work properly, but I kind of know how to turn certain things so they click right and stuff like that. Anyways, I was gonna show you this. This is the lock. That keeps the park, that's a nice sound, I guess. Uh, that keeps the park closed in the winter. So our parks, especially our parks that have a lot of grass and soccer fields, they're usually locked in the winter because you can damage the soccer fields if you run on them or play on them uh, when they're, like when they're frozen, it's okay, but you don't want to be on soccer fields too early. Uh, when the grass is a little bit soft, when the ground is a little bit soft, because you can damage it. You can put all little holes and divots and um, stuff like that in it. So generally a park like this is locked up until about May 1st, middle of May, sometime in there, uh, they'll open it back up again. You can still come to the park and play on the toys if you're a kid and you don't mind the cold, but uh, usually the sporting fields are closed. Anyways, thanks for watching. See you next week with another short lesson. Bye.